Hi guys, uh, today I will take care of the auxiliary air valve. So, uh, first course of action is to take the unit out uh, of the car, put it on the bench, uh, and work from there. Yeah, those clamps are new and hoses are new, so everything is easy to take off, except the AAV. It may be a little harder, but I don't foresee any major problems. There's no uh, gunk or rust build, build up around it. It's coming easy, so. One is not so you know what I'm gonna put some penetrant in there it's coming but it's not uh, as smooth as the other and then put it back in, take it back out and you know the drill okay put it back out put some more penetrant on it and do it a few times I can see it's coming easier now, so... Okay, one is out, lock nut. magnet. I will spray some stuff on it just in case. It's coming easy, but I think it's out. We'll just yeah, this one is out. Yeah. So our body is loose. I may have to take the clean route. You know what? I may have to take the clean route anyway. I didn't want to, but
looks fairly gummed up uh, sorry I don't know if you can see it not really in this light okay I'm gonna take a better shot when uh, when I take that apart on the bench and clean it all right so that's uh, gonna be it for now now I gotta close this up and uh, move inside I had it soaking for a couple of hours to make sure everything is loose in the side. I'm just gonna give it a final wash and then uh, clean up on the outside. So when I'm pressing parts, uh, all this stuff, uh, there will be no dirt, no crud, nothing to go in there. That's how she looks like at the moment. Uh, I will be pressing it apart. Uh, I'm just gonna rinse it and press it apart and then uh, hone the inside. I want this to be uh, baby's butt smooth when, when I'm done. Okay, got the piston out, whole assembly out. I'm trying to keep it in the same orientation so I can take notes and put it exactly the same way uh, that I got it out. I find that there's no need to press a complete assembly apart as uh, I already got at the moving parts. So uh, I achieved uh, what I wanted to achieve. I cleaned the inside, I mean, I cleaned the parts that are going inside there and now I just gotta clean the case uh, and that's about it so uh, I'm gonna take that out and we'll take it to the parts washer again okay I use uh, what was that uh, 15 uh, no, sorry, 5.8 sockets. Uh, you can use a little larger long or so, whatever. But 5.8 uh, worked really well. It, uh, it was a nice fit. Those parts are uh, already washed. Okay, I just didn't want to mess with the orientation or anything like it. But it's not all that complicated. But still, I want to put the uh, piston in the sleeve exact same way as it came out. As uh, It's just like any working elements. They kind of... Uh, work themselves together and you don't want to move it after that um, Okay, so that's as you can see That's that's the piston came out super clean super nice. There are some tiny scratches You don't really see it in the video, but not much. I, I'm really happy with how it all cleaned up So yes, and, and lip and everything. It's it's really nice so what I'm gonna do now is just uh, wash the inside of that part and I already cleaned it uh, outside so I, I think it's all self-explanatory you know, <laughs> just cleaning parts
So I had this soaking for a few minutes, uh, just in case if there are some stubborn dirt particles there that I can remove. So uh, I will give it one final brush. Okay, it looks pretty clean to me. Uh, but once I put it together, I may actually, I may uh, even hone it with, with the uh, with the glass. We'll see. If the time allows, I will do it. I'm not going to be using that seal and that new one. Just get it out of the wash bay. Uh, okay. Let's use this area as, as the work area now. You know I'm gonna let this dust settle. I don't want to breathe this stuff in. Let's just settle. Come back in five minutes. Okay, all the WD-40 fumes settled down, uh, so I can continue. Uh, all I'm gonna have to do now is uh, put the spring right here in the same orientation as it came out. Put the piston back on it. Same orientation again. Uh, everything is really well looped. See how easy it moves now. I hope you can see it. Let me bring it here. I'm squeezing it. There's no uh, restrictions whatsoever. Then piston is super smooth now. So I hope that I will get a full range of that valve now. It's going to open and close all the way. Now we'll put this guy back on. Okay. And now i have to go back to the press so this is the orientation we had i made a template lining up this line with this one so as i'm pressing i can see i can achieve exact same angle as i had before so now it's going to be a bit easier actually much uh, easier to put this uh, assembly on See if I got it centered. <laughs> I hope that arm is long enough now. Ah, it is, it is. Okay, I think we're almost there. It's time to time to line this thing up. Um, Okay, I had it like this. So I'm gonna line this up roughly. This is my kind of tough to see. But I 
Uh, you won't be able to see this in the camera. You know what? What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stick it on a piece of tape. This way I'm not in your way. But all I'm gonna do now is just press this in so it's not that big of a deal. Should I stick it outside? Push this back in, in the center, like this. Okay, and all I have to do is look from the top, make sure my line matches. And it does not at the moment, so I have to align it. Bear with me for a moment. Okay, I think I'm pretty well aligned now. So we'll just press this guy in. And uh, that's about it. Uh, oh, it's going in very smooth. Although the first part is, is not a little pressed yet. Uh, it's almost no pressure. The gauge is not even moving yet. The parts are well lubricated, so. Okay, now I can feel some resistance. Now is the time where I'm actually pressing it. It's still going very smooth, well lubricated, so. Okay, I think I'm flush here. It's just a matter, okay, I'm gonna have to ease off and check at the bottom if I'm flush at the bottom. If not, then press a little more. Okay. I'll take my template. Um, okay, I think I'm a fraction Fraction low, really not much. I was did, this piece was perfectly flush before, so let's let's make it flush again. Yeah, I think I bottomed out. That's as far as she wants to go. All right. Oh yeah, it is much better. It was just a fraction, but right now I can feel it. This is, this is the way it was when I took it apart. So anyway, there you see it. Um, I had no issues with the valve itself. I tested it in a hot water and it moved. It just... Uh, was the contaminants inside that prevented the pistons from the piston inside from moving properly uh, a full travel but the um, part here that uh, wax uh, component it's it's working well so so now uh, i guess the test in the water i will have to put this in the water and and test it so that's as you can see it's uh it's not that hard to uh, to get those things uh, rebuilt, providing um, providing you have a press. It's much easier with a press. I wouldn't attempt it with a hammer. I've seen few guys doing it with a hammer, but you're just asking for trouble. That's at least that's my opinion. Um, if you don't have a press, go to a shop. They will, you know, do it for you for a few dollars. They will. I mean, they will press that out for you. Then you can do all the cleaning assembly and take it back, they will press it in for you, as, uh, as you saw it, it only takes a few minutes. 
I'm at my new testing station right now. Uh, got the cold water running and it's uh, 80. Let it let the thermometer pick it up. Okay. Okay, it's going down. I believe it's around like I don't know, 15 degrees or so. I would have to wait a long time for this to to cool off. Anyway, I will. I will just run the water and um, it should open all the way. I mean, not all the way, but it should open so the air can travel freely through it. It doesn't take long for it to react from the room temperature. Okay, I think it's pretty well open. I can. It, it blows through right, no problem. Okay, so I can I can show you now the. Uh, okay, how well you can see it before it closes. Um, I'm having. I can see it myself. It's just I don't see much in the camera, but. Um, It is open now, it allows for a free flow and so what I will do, I will put the hot water on and um, wait till it uh, kind of, till I get the hot stuff coming. I don't think my, my top is set, uh, it will probably go to like 40 some Celsius, uh, 100 Fahrenheit or so, somewhere there, so I'm not applying any heat yet the valve is still open um, you know what I will briefly put it on and it the water is a hundred degrees Fahrenheit now just cross 40 uh, it's actually going up pretty good um, 50 oh we're finally getting some hot stuff 55 okay so let's run this through now and i can already see how the uh, valve is closing inside at this point it's almost completely closed let me run the water on the other side for a bit um try yeah, the valve is completely closed at this point. So, uh, let me shut the water off. You can see it uh, right here. Yeah, oh, now I, I think you can see it right now. It's completely closed. So, the top water running was uh, about 50 degrees Celsius, were like 120 uh, Fahrenheit, and it only took, uh, you know, less than a minute for the valve to completely close. Uh, Probably if I had it in a in a pot or something like that, submerged completely, it would be even uh, quicker. So I'm very happy with the functionality of this valve. It's fully rebuilt and ready to go back in the car. Part number is um, one two eight five one oh one zero three seven. Maybe I can snap a picture of it. Okay, so that's about it, guys. This valve is done, finished.